I was putting on white, but I remember I needed to go change it and wear black because I'm talking about dark people in this video. I'm not talking about dark skin. I'm talking about people with dark souls. I like to believe I have already told you in my previous video that I am entering something new and this is the beginning of that new thing that I told you guys I wanted to do. So I'm going to dedicate some time to some people and in today's video I'll be starting with two and I will give them free publicity all right they didn't see this coming because it has been a long time but I have been on it I've been on it if you know me you know when I tell you I'm on you I'm on you. I mean, say I'm on you. Okay, so I was ganged. Ah, ganged what? What's this word to be used? I was ganged. If you like this video, you can subscribe because more of this type of videos are coming back to back until I am done with these people. So there's, um, I would say I was gang bashed. Yeah, I was gang bashed by this group of people. For what? For absolute nothing. I want you to know that this video is not me fighting for anybody or any country or any ethnic group group this video is me fighting for myself all right so just so you will understand i have been on youtube doing my thing and some of the things that i have always talked about on youtube now are the things that some of my viewers i wanted to say some Ghanaians, but it's um, it's safe to say some Ghanaians because a lot of my audience are Ghanaians. you know some of the things i have always talked about are the things that some Ghanaians are finding strange about nigerians and nigeria today they're acting like ah. for those of you that will remember you know that i've talked about this way back right from way back yo i've always talked about my people so when i see some Ghanaians acting like they are new to wow it kind of surprised me when i was telling you what were you thinking that i was lying to you so that what will happen i wasn't lying so in today's video i'm going to talk about no not talk about i'm going to drag to you to want to be youtubers one of them is a woman and you know me it is not in my habit to talk about women but today i will do it because i just want to give these people i want them to i just want to i want to do it basically want to do it she's not the only woman more are coming but um and then um when i'm done with her i want to talk about this guy here that i'm displaying on the screen as well already i told you guys i wasn't going to talk about him or whatsoever but no i changed my mind because if find this video offensive please click out okay in the month of what 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 month is this is september somewhere in the month of july or june was it june or july i was just on youtube like every other person and this gloria of a girl and her audience they were discussing about me um she later explained to me that oh she wasn't talking about me it was her subscribers her viewers that were talking about me and here is what they were saying when I talked about Lily, I never knew she was there on the live stream, right? So immediately somebody said something about her. She was so angry that she had to come on my live stream. When she was on stage addressing the commenter, which is the person of Sister Beauty, oh my God, Lily was going you know the thing really pain her she can't they insult the insult you don't have to know me to hear my opinion you don't have to know me okay go on with let your me opinion what of me have to say. go on with Lily. your own opinion of me okay. let me Lily. Tell you. Lily. you are the favorite nigerian content creator that speaks very well on Ghana, about Ghana and speaks down on nigeria everyone on this live can go to your channel to verify nobody has to take my word for it now the challenges we face as nigerians it's palpable. Everybody knows this. But I want you to remember that there was a time in the in, in time past, many years ago, when we were growing up, Ghanaians also used to live in Nigeria. We know what Ghanaians did in Nigeria. We know how bad the economy was. And we know what they did to get to where they are today. Lily, I have followed your channel to the point that even if as a Niger as Nigerians, as a community, when we have wins during the AFCON specifically, because when I come, I see your 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 tab, what's it called, your community tab. I've never, I don't see you. Don't post any positive thing about Nigeria, Lily. In spite of the fact that I don't live in Nigeria, and the, the I go to Lily's channel, ill of Nigeria. You can't even take yeah. this away. 
so you do are not speaking you are living in another man's country for 12 years. years don't you because go if you home don't, 12 years of living in another man's me, land how me, do you me, feel if you go no see, you were Liz, just they, talking about me on and on do you think about your channel if you don't speak ill about nigeria your Ghanaian audience don't come through now you start to wonder what could be the problem this is the problem lily ogini is a content creator a nigerian content creator who is based in ghana she does comparison video whereby you compare one country to another country she also does university video whereby you review scores the killings of girls if you are going to nigeria you better buy things to protect yourself it has been going on for ages the minds of a common nigerian is as bad and black as this shirt that i'm putting on they will sell it to terrorists in nigeria this is just tip of the iceberg if you are a female in nigeria it is most likely that you would die by ritual before natural causes there is high rise of money ritual in nigeria the country glorifies money too much why are we like this how dark and wicked can we be to ourselves the army that is supposed to protect us the civilians are starting to sell guns to these people to kill us hey guys <laughs> <sighs> no don't advise me okay don't worry i'm okay i am a nigerian okay as a nigerian if you are soft and kind and easy going just classy is a problem that becomes your crime so you have to from time to time let people know people like this understand that you can do like them and even more so this particular girl that is running her mouth let's play back to what she was she and her gang were saying about me these are people who have access to youtube they have youtube channels that they could easily use to promote our country promote all the amazing things they are accusing me of not promoting but no they wouldn't do it they feel like they can sit in germany wherever they are to oppress me because of what exactly and the lady in particular speaking to me as if i'm her servant I have not been to nigeria for the past Past 12 years how do you renew your papers i mean how does it work why are you not in nigeria and when eventually these people comes to nigeria do you know where they end up at lagos nigeria they can't go home we are going to get to that part but glory glory welcome to selling nigeria i am surprised that all of a sudden gloria is now selling nigeria selling nigeria this girl literally accused me of so many things and that wasn't all her community tab she was always following up with more videos how we are spoiling the image of nigeria how we are these how why can't i find something to promote about nigeria today glory is sitting down and running her mouth like a parrot calling nigeria and nigerians oh names in her heart she believes i have forgiven her i've let it go after all as lily lily is calm she can't talk you know that's what they think i am or rather that is what they know me to be she didn't know that i am waiting for the right time to strike go to gloria's channel right now and see how she downgrades what she says to me should i now accuse you of doing this because you want the views should i say that or should i say you are saying the truth because right now i'm confused when i was doing my thing posting the schools in my host country talking about all the amazing things you guys are saying that i have downgraded nigeria what about you now you see you glory i'm going to be on your case otherwise go and look for that lady the one that bullied me the one you allowed to bully look for her and tell her to come and apologize to me otherwise you see you you see what lily pope is doing to you is nothing compared to what i can do to you like i would drag you so bad maybe not on this channel so you guys you know that this lady reached out to me on instagram and i won't share it here and she i got a message from her hi lily this is gloria the vlogger and she feels so important this is what oh my god i like gloria because of course you can see she's beautiful and she's young and i feel like oh in a, a dope, a dope because me i have a special 
place for a do women because trust me these people these ladies are too good like they are too kind but you see gloria she is that one Edo girl that they have used for sacrifice to say go out there all the bad things that we can be you go so should we believe your story glory or no we shouldn't believe it or we should believe it we should say that what you are doing now is what i'll get back to you maybe in another video next is this one this chima so i told you guys that chima did i tell you guys or a lot of you guys may have seen that is if you're not new here you may have seen a video where chima or videos where chima has made about me you know sometimes because he's a coward you know you all knows that and he's a double-faced guy he doesn't have ball down there chima is a woman he cannot stand up and stand up and stand on something physically chima is a man but Binet is a woman and how I don't have a job in Ghana, how I beg, how I this. Yeah, this happened in 2023. 2023 was a very bad year for me. There are so many things I don't share here. I wouldn't say bad year, but it was hard for me because I was trying to navigate my way. So many things were happening to me and of course i'm a woman i'm a single mother i wanted to move from my former apartment to a new one and i didn't have the money to pay to way be my items from the house and i thought i was going to go far i wanted to go as far as sunyani i wanted to just go somewhere else where i feel maybe life will be a bit a lot cheaper for me or a bit cheaper for me with kids so i thought i was going to go to sunyani i've already arranged with sandra she helped me get it she uh she negotiated for a truck for me that will help take my things and my kids to sunyani i have money to pay the rent but what i don't have is money to move so if i don't come out to speak seek for help i was going to renew that rent and end up there guess what my formal apartment is now a thousand cities per month when i rented it was 650 cities per month so they increased it so i knew that if i continue to stay there it was going to be you know that way and i don't think i can handle it came out here to seek for help and a lot of people came through for me they gave me way more than i expected and since that day to today chima and his friend your favorite if you're Ghanaian, some of you your favorite youtuber they have not allowed me to drink water drop cup they have bullied me she's a beggar she's a this she did this a woman with kids me and one of my child is special need it makes life more expensive for me because if i decide to go out now I need a taxi. I cannot do it the regular like any other mother can do it because my child can't walk. We need to get a wheelchair that will help her get in. These people have no compassion. They came for me, Chima especially. But Chima, um, his, your favorite YouTuber seek for help for Chima to renew his rent back then in Kumasi. The rent cost, guess how much a month? 50 Ghana cities. And this guy couldn't raise it. 50 Ghana cities, an abled bodied man healthy Ibo man couldn't raise it so his friend came out to call for help for him a lot of people give him he said he wanted to start a business so let me display the video here and shout out to a new channel that i stumbled on on youtube here that channel's name is amagana observer that is where i got this um shima's video from thank you so much okay uh whoever is behind that channel i'm grateful to you because i have given up i didn't know i was going to see this video so let's watch it together let me let's watch it together because these people are evil they can decide to be funny oh let me display it i don't want to share the screen with him i'll be back and witness what is called true love because of what has been going on in that system is people find it hard to you know to render a help for to render help to somebody because of some kind of things that have been happening in people's life people the way they live their life you know? so people now find it so difficult to show love or to render a help do you know what guys i nearly threw out of this place right like i nearly when i said i nearly threw out of this place i am not uh, like i mean it's like the landlord meant what he said you know he has been he has been helping me a lot you know he has done a lot like he has done much Imagine I've been going for light gifts for about um, uh, about a year now. Water bill a year now. About a year, I'm not paid. 
and you know he has been the one kind of like paying it, you know, so the way that he gets money so that he can be able to refund him. Now, the, 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 now the place has expired. He gets. So will he kill himself to me for me to know that he has tried? You see. So he has tried a lot. He gets. So he he also you know leaving me also uh, whereby this place has expired that plus the one I have mean, you know it's too much. So he has to tell me politely that I have to find a place. Maybe I can try somebody else and stay in his place so that he can you know use this and rent it out. But guys, I'm still here. And, uh, uh, like the, hey, I am still here, like I'm not going anywhere again. What happened? What really happened, guys? What really happened, my people? You are the reasons. You are the reasons that made everything possible. Hey, you are the reasons that made everything possible for me. I'm able to, to be able to secure here again. I'm able to secure this place because of you, my kindest friends out there. You are so wonderful. You are so so wonderful. Do you know? Do you know something? If you're Nigerian watching this video right now, do you know that there's no Ghanaian that hates Nigeria? No, no, no. See, let me tell you with all my heart, with, uh, forget everything that with, 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 with all I've seen and experienced. What Ghanaian hate is when you are doing evil bad things. You know, when you come to the country and you know it hurts you because of what you are doing. <laughs> See, I have seen it with my eyes. I have witnessed it. I have like. Because uh, when the six years I've been staying here, I, 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 should, I should have got all the experiences, everything about Ghanaians. When the six years now. So, this is what I am telling you the truth and the facts. There's no Ghanaian that hate Nigerians. What they hate is when they, because you know, um, you know that Nigerians they always try to be smart, you know, play smart. And when they're playing that smart, is in every way, not in a good, smart way, but playing bad, bad, smart as if they are. Because that is why a Ghanaian will always be, you know, uh, staying like this way that Nigeria is. We will stay far away from him, watching him first, to see if this person is actually what people are talking about the country. So if the Ghanaian find out that okay, this person is like this person is different, then you will come close to him. That is Ghanaian for you. The Nigerian that you, you are living in Ghana, you know, think, 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 what I'm saying is truth. Look around, check around, you know, remember things. Hey, what else can I say? Thank you so much, my beautiful Ghanaian brothers, for helping your brother, for helping your brother. For so helping me, thank you so much. I really appreciate you all. Those that prayed for me, those that prayed for my success, those that those that had that a cash, a money for me to continue living in living this place. I never lived in such apartment since I came to Ghana. Okay, and I, I do not in any way disrespect. So if you live in a place like that, I am not here to disrespect you. But please, try and allow people to breathe. So Ghanaians donated for him and then life started to pick up. They started giving him money to survive, you know, because of they felt like he needs it. Truly a brother he needs. They didn't know that they were just um, giving money to someone who would later come back to backstab them. The Ghanaians, I guess, would have still helped Chima even if he was going to team together with someone that will come openly and sit down and insult them. Let me display a video on here where Chima said his mother, is the, the Nigerian police beat his mother. What did your mother do? What did she do? Let's watch that first. I'll be back. I used to say that like, even in Asaba, there was a place I said in Asaba, in the other state. All the while I stayed there, one week, two, and two weeks I stayed there, they didn't take lights. Bam, summit, the summit, the area. They did not off the lights. Bam. I said it on my channel here. So anything I noticed in Nigeria that is good, I used to say it here. I thought I, I was going to somewhere from Onesha and we'll pass um, the, uh, no, the bridge in Onesha. The second Niger bridge. The second Niger bridge. And also the interchange in the Bosi area. Mm. I saw it very beautiful. I make the videos of it and showcase it on my channel. Even at Lagos State, the train that is running yes, Lagos State, yes, yes, I showed yes. it. You didn't watch it. I've seen it. Mm. Lagos, it. I think the train was from Lagos to Ogu. It was from Lagos. Yeah, they also have a blue line that runs in within the Lagos. Yeah, so I showcase anything I see in Nigeria is good. Nigeria is developed. Yeah, Nigeria I used to show it yeah, unless the one I did not see with my eye. <laughs> but also I see that this thing is good. Nigeria, I would love to show it here on my channel too. You get so I don't I don't I don't only post negativities. I post positivities a lot too. You get so, but I find this some of the things happening in my place make me feel, feel angry. I use anger to open this my channel. That was why I use anger, anger of uh, bad experiences I've had in Nigeria to open this channel. I, and what Nigerian police has dealt me and oh yes, that's that's our Nigerian, po Nigerian police yeah. has beaten my money in my places. Also, it was one of some of the expenses I used to open the channel. Say, I, if this channel grows, if this thing has happened in Nigeria, I will deal with them. <laughs> it's not that I started reducing my anger of the way I did this. If I use that anger, they treat this level, beat my mom. No way my mom was alive, but she's there now. Right. Because my mom was selling her fish. They pick up the carry her fish. They walk one way. Yeah.
for the police to beat your mother isn't your mother such an evil woman she broke law before you tell me leave his mother out of this this guy dragged my innocent kids into while he was dragging me he said i lied about the paternity of my baby and this and that my baby i lied to get the Ghanaian papers he said i lied about my daughter being Ghanaian. my daughter is not Ghanaian. i was sleeping around with different men so i took in my babies are all and my in fact he was very precise that my daughter is nigerian i lied because i want to use my daughter to get papers in ghana please does that even work i mean do you give papers to baby mamas in ghana i would love to know so that i can go for mine i have lived there i have lived there in all honesty the only time people get to know my daughter is Ghanaian is because when we go to the hospital when we go to schools because of her name okay when you when you know my daughter's name you know she's Ghanaian. i think her father did that on purpose just so that wherever she goes she will find her way home i it took me a while to to realize that because my baby daddy's family name is an english name but he left it and up for the Ghanaian name to give my baby an identity that she can never take away like once you know her you know where she's from he did it on purpose i'm not angry so yeah that is the same chima begging after after they have donated for him but a few years later so why did your mother fought with nigerian police your mother she was a wicked woman obviously she was an evil woman i am speaking about your mother you spoke about my kid this guy dragged my innocent kids even the one that is physically challenged how i'm having sleeping around with different men and have kids i was married i was married this guy came married me did all the rights took me home him and his people came married me was a wedding there was a wedding i had twins i lost one of the babies and then the one that survived it i had the kids premature so that resulted to my daughter having some complication which i have to deal with alone her dad left me because of that i don't want to talk about that here because it's going to sound like you want to start you want to bring the guy down so what should i have done at this point leave the baby too with my mother or come online here and deny her i stood by my daughter and when eight years later when god blessed me with another baby i took her and add to the one that i have before proudly raising my girls and guess what i adopted my niece even when i had nothing from primary six my niece is in form three i have been responsible for her everything so for this guy who is able-bodied to mock me and i think his mother was a very wicked woman if you know some of these Igbo women if you are Igbo in the building don't get mad okay hold on because i'm coming for you for your people in another video so if you want to be mad keep it don't be mad now don't be in a hurry you know some of these Igbo women are wicked they know how to maltreat people they are evil they are wicked i have worked with all the ethnic groups in nigeria except for the southerners i have worked with Aosa, i have worked with yorubas i have worked with Igbos. and guys one day i will make a video sharing my experiences with this major working as a house help with these tribes guys and then you will get to know how and why i will always go for my beloved yorubas i don't want to talk about the Aosa because just one of them and she was cool but this other tribe do you know what they call shege banza look for an Nigerian to interpret that i saw shege banza in the hands of shima people yeah when i want to speak about the Igbos, my heart goes out to my former landlord in asaba who was extremely nice and of course some of the amazing Igbos i have met and still have in my life but you see shima's mother she was that typical before she died chima this is just the beginning i already told chima a costume because he lied on me he's still gonna work for you so that is just a video of chima you know now chima said he makes two thousand dollars a day in ghana so you guys you can ask the Ghanaian police to visit chima let's find out what he does that makes him make that amount of money so that we can all do it i'll continue to sacrifice for my kids Mm, chima uh so amagana observer is the new channel where i got the chima's video from thank you for this video appreciate you
because without that I wouldn't have seen because this guy deleted all the videos imagine begging for help after that you delete it then come back and mock me the rest of you I'm coming for you okay if you have bullied me before <laughs> And we have never been friends before the reason i don't do much about your favorite is because at some point we've been friends we've been friends otherwise by now i would have exposed him i would have leaked i would have posted him that would have exposed him in a way that you guys you will you will cry you won't believe that that is him for him i will leave it if we have been friends before i'll, I'll forgive you no problem but you see all of that all these millipedes these mushrooms all these ones watch your back i'm coming okay may god punish you people please my follow-up video is going to be hotter than this and i will advise you to stay away for now these are the videos that i'll be posting until i'm done doing them did you enjoy this one if you do come back tomorrow because i have a hotter one for you to do